the elimination of Hep C really rests with the medical profession, so they need a lot of encouragement. So I've taken very proactive steps to, at, at grassroots level, to educate individual GPs about what viral hepatitis is, what hepatitis C is, and the opportunity we have to eliminate it. I've spoken directly to GPs, and um, from a patient perspective, I've got quite a powerful voice because I came very close to dying with Hep C. I had it all my life, had it since it was able to be diagnosed. It was a big shock. Uh, then very little was known about it. I myself informed myself about it as quickly as I could. I needed to. I had children to worry about, family to worry about, and there was a lot of misinformation. It was considered a death sentence. It was considered highly contagious and infectious among other people. I uh, faced a lot of discrimination while I was having my child in hospital. Uh, around how infectious it may or may not be. I just relied on my doctors and I thought they'll tell me if there's a breakthrough. I would go every six months to the doctor and he would say, oh, maybe there's something happening, there's a study, I'll let you know. But in fact, no one had told me about DAAs. They weren't available to me in New Zealand, but I got access to them, luckily, um, at a critical time. I got access to generic medications and I was cured. And from that moment, I realised there were a lot of other people in my position in New Zealand and very quickly I realised in the whole world who needed to be told about it and I was looking around, I was looking over my shoulder wondering who else was going to do it and wondering where the voices were and realising that if I hadn't seen a media story about the access I'd be dead and so I, I knew I had to get over uh, my shyness around that and, and talk to people. Another way I've been reaching healthcare professionals is through our policy planning committees and I've also been speaking to the Minister of Health and he's luckily my local MP in New Zealand. We've spoken to him. Uh, we've been directly contacting um, clinics and putting up posters in clinics. We're still finding GPs who've got no idea about uh, what the diagnosis means, what the testings mean, what antibodies mean, and what DAAs can do. It's the most wonderful thing for them to write a few words on a page and save somebody's life, completely change their quality of life, up their productivity, perhaps like myself, 20, 30, 50%. That's why I think stories like my own really help do that, because they think, here's a real person, she would have died if, you, if the doctor hadn't got the information and worked and I'm trying to get across to them, but your patient, you've got patients in my position. You know, you've got patients who need to hear this right now, and you're probably not looking for them as actively as you could be.